Good afternoon, everyone. The webinar will start in approximately two minutes. Guys, where'd you go? Bob, can you hear me? I can. I can hear you. I wonder if we should go out in the shop where the new bikes are. If maybe we should uh, pitch out there. I think it might might be a little easier. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to work here now. Okay. All right, we can, we, can, we can do it from here. Are the are the two guests with you? They were a second ago. I'm sure they're here. Let me go. All right, here we go. Good afternoon and good morning, depending on where you're at. My name is John Berta, and I will be your host for today's webinar. I am a personal friend and advisor to Bob Stilzer, CEO of DSG Global, a publicly traded company under the ticker DSGT. Today, we are excited to showcase our e-bike platform available at Imperium Motor Company. Don't forget, after the, after the Q&A, we will be announcing the winner of the Rover e-bike. You can type in your questions in the Q&A section, and we will be selecting a few later on in the webinar. I will now hand the webinar over to Bob Silzer, CEO of GSG Global, for some background information on the company and Imperial Motor Company. Bob, take it away. Thank you very much, John. Welcome, everyone, uh, to all of you and the... Uh, East Coast, of course, it's good afternoon, and the West Coast, it's good morning. So uh, here we are, and, and exciting to be here. And thank you, Tanya, and, and to Cicero for uh, setting this up. And, and uh, uh, I, I just want to get right to it so we uh, keep everyone satisfied with what they're going to see today. Um, we're really excited to be able to bring to you, along with the EV setup that we presently have in our company, um, and I'll, I'll explain to you um, just a bit about DSG. DSG Global is a publicly traded company, as you all know, um, and, uh, and we, we are, of course, making our move onto the national market as, as soon as possible. The, uh, the uh, release or the acceptances have already been made with the, the SEC, and now what we're going to do is, is um, go through a bit of information on the company just to give you an idea. DSG is made up of, of two divisions, wholly owned subs, and one of them is in the golf division, which is uh, DSG Tag Vantage Corp, and the other one is Imperium Motors. Um, Rick, who's going to be joining us shortly, is the president of Imperium, and uh, and we're going to we're really excited about where we're going with this, with the electric vehicles, um, and we're in two of the hottest markets that are in the industry today, being golf and of course the EV side. And what we tried to do is is make sure that. We, we do stand out from the rest of the pack in which we do. And to our, a lineup that we added, we, we realized that the market for electric vehicles was hot. And then of course, from there, they went to the electric bikes. And the e-bike is, is something that is kind of the new cool look today. And in, in the, the size of the market is, is just astronomical, uh, in expecting to reach $70 billion by 2027. And, and over and above that, it'll be 130 million bikes sold in the next two years. I mean, that's just amazing. And it's a market that we absolutely want to be involved in, are involved in. So we did our research and to find out where's the best place to go, who's the best product, who has the best product out there. And of course, 
um, the decision was to go with Rumble. Um, we're really, really excited about the fact that we are teamed up with Rumble. We do for uh, their, their products that we have right now. We have the worldwide rights in order to market them. And what we're doing is being able to show you today exactly what it is. Over and above that, just to show you the excitement in the, in the, in the market itself. I mean, the governor in USA and California, USA, um, actually is now offering um, a 30% uh, discount or a rebate back to the people who buy bikes. And that'll change depending on states. I think it's going to grow and grow and grow. Um, Mr. Biden is also throwing a ton of dough into the marketplace for, for everyone to participate in the e-bike market. So enough about me. Um, um, we're, we're just going to talk about Rick and, and, and the team. And right now, I, I do want to introduce Rick. Um, he, he comes with an experience that is second to none in the industry. Uh, Rick is actually in Detroit at this time. And, and he's got two gentlemen with him, uh, Kevin from Henry Electric and also RJ from Rumble Motors. And they're going to show you some bikes, talk about it and, and, and just give you an overview of exactly what the bikes do, the brands we have. Um, and we right now have to honestly um, explain that we have over four containers of bikes that are committed um, into the marketplace. And it's just, it's just starting. Sales are just actually starting to rock and roll. So we're excited. Rick, I'm gonna turn it over to you, buddy, and um, show them what we've got. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Uh, we're happy to be here at the Henry Electric R&D Center that we use for Rumble Motors. Uh, they're great guys. They have a, a great selection of, of uh, bikes here. And a lot of people say, you know, why are you guys getting into the uh, e-bike business? Well, it, it's clean transportation, which fits right in to what we do. It also is the fastest growing element in that business. So it really, it's really, really, really good for us here. And, you know, being over here is, is exciting. It's a lot of fun. And, you know, Kevin and RJ, are showing us some of the new bikes they've got today and really just, just fantastic, fantastic. So I'm gonna introduce uh, real quickly, RJ, come on up and say a few words and kind of tell us a little bit about the history of Rumble Motors. Hi everyone, RJ. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna tell you a little bit background story of why I started the company. So I'm, I'm from Sweden and I moved to the US in 2015. And I saw where the market was going uh, with the electric market after Tesla, of course, and the, the hoverboards. If you remember, everybody was riding the hoverboards. And I noticed that we're going to continue going to electric bikes, electric scooters, electric motorcycles. I, I saw the trend. So basically, so I started Rumble Motors in 2016. We did a prototype of, um, we call it the V-Series. And after that, we just continue developing the bikes and uh, follow the trends, basically, what customers want. So we do that great um, research, market research, what's needed on the market and what's gonna be uh, in the future. And uh, that's how we started to create all this uh, selection of bikes we have today. And little by little, of course, we got on the market, we got a lot of uh, media attention. Our bikes been featured on Westworld, the TV show, season three. And we are actually signing an exclusive deal with them now for the season four. So they're gonna show our bikes again in the season four of uh, Westworld. Discovery Channel came and did a, did a great, um, uh, uh, they have a TV show every year, so they did. Uh, they use our bikes for the TV show because we have a little futuristic design of our bikes. And then, of course, I met Rick uh, in 2019, and um, we grew a great uh, partnership together. And we understand we we work really well together. We understand where we're going with the market, and uh, yeah, so we started to basically build uh, new bikes that basically again following trends. What's gonna be um, what's going to be needed on the market, basically. And a little bit after that, I was in contact with, sorry? Uh, so a little bit after that, I got in contact with uh, Kevin from Henry Electrics. Uh, so he basically, they're doing custom build bikes, amazing custom build bikes. So we wanted to bring our production into the US. And this was a great way for us to start making our bikes in the US. Yeah, so that bike on the picture is made by Henry Electric based on our uh, Rumble Air SS model. Uh, it's fully customized and we have three different uh, versions of that one and these are going to be released shortly. These are all three are prototypes that you will see on the pictures. 
And yeah, so we created these bikes with Henry Electric, and now we're gonna go into full production in Detroit. And I will let uh, Kevin uh, talk a little bit more about the, the new bike models we are producing uh, right now. Thank you so much. Kevin Kuza. Hello everybody, how you doing today? Um, thank you for your time. So Henry Electric, I'll just run down. Uh, my background is actually in architecture and in industrial design and I have um, ran and operated a pretty um, awesome um, architectural design millwork company for about 18 years. And um, about a year ago, uh, you know, I was, you know, like everybody kind of sitting back at home and riding in my garage and decided to purchase an electric bike. And it was, um, it was from a company called Rayvolt. Um, and I, I picked up this bike and it was like a vintage cruiser, which is kind of a style that I really can appreciate. And, you know, got it and got bored with it and uh, built my own and then was riding around and people just really started flocking and we're like, hey, you know, are you are you turning this into a business? And again, doing the work that I've done in the area that I live in, I've got you know some pretty pretty extensive clients and, and credibility. So I was like, yeah, why not? So we built a couple of prototype bikes, um, and you know, I started kind of networking and <clears throat> came across Rumble Motors was popping up on my feed every day, and I just blindly reached out and RJ and I connected. It's been it's been a good three months now, I believe, and started talking almost every other day, um, texting every, pretty much every day. And um, he brought these uh, bikes to my attention and was like, hey, do you think we can, we can do something with the, you know, the, some of our, our bike line, you know, our current bike line? And I'm like, yeah, send them over. So our design team here and, and myself got into kind of hacking these bikes and stripping them and, and revamping them. And, you know, what we wanted to do and what my focus has been on for the last 18 years is not just, you know, I, I believe that like, there's so many product-based companies all day long, every day. That's what people do. And it's just like the electric bike thing. Yes, it's, it's hot and it's popular and it's, it's, it's kind of new. It's sustainability, creating something that is, is just a product that just turns the market. It's like you, you, you know, a product you can't do without, if you're going to get an electric bike and you want to do it right, you're going to go to rumble Henry, that type of attitude. So, you know, having them here in Detroit and being able to manufacture in this city is awesome. I mean, we're connected with all these fabrication companies and so forth. So we took a stab at the, the you know, the, the Air SS bike and the three that you see are the, you know, the, the first three that we put out. And those are ready to rock and we're actually going to take them on some test rides today. So um, we're super excited about them and the relationship. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you very much, um, uh, Kevin. That's that's great. Um, Rick, I, I think we should also mention, and, and, and RJ, uh, thanks as well. And I think we should also mention to everyone on, on the call here is that uh, on the webinar that we are giving away a bike today, a Rumble bike, and we're excited about it. And, and it's going to be the Rover um, is what they're going to get. And I don't know if there's a picture there. You've seen it before. But the Rover is going to be given away today um, to uh, someone that is viewing. And I know that one of the questions came up in, 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 in stating about the, is it available in Asia? And the, the answer is, is yes. Is that correct, Rick? Is, is they are Absolutely. available. Yeah. And, and, and one Absolutely. of the things too, which, which is really important is for dealers, people looking for a dealership, you, you can go to our website, Imperial Motors um, um, Company and, and the website, and you can actually apply and, and fill out the form and, and Rick and his team will definitely get back to you and let you know the circumstances of, of how you can become a dealer for the company. Um, Rick, back to you again. Great. You know, Bob, we talked a little bit about uh, the future of e-bikes. You know, it's up about 140% year over year. Uh, it's growing phenomenally. It's really, it's really probably the fastest growing segment of the electric vehicle uh, deal that we have out there. Uh, they expect to sell about 600,000 e-bikes this year. And I think that's just a little bit of what is possible. You know, Europe does many times that. So it, it's a great field for us. And we're very fortunate, fortunate to have, you know, the Rumble line. Uh, they, they make great bikes and uh, the Rover is my favorite uh, for now until we get the Henry Rover and Rumble bikes out there and we'll see how they do as well. So anyway, we're, we're having a good time out here. We're riding bikes. We rode some bikes last night. We're going to ride some today. Uh, performance is outstanding. Uh, if you've ever ridden an e-bike way back in the day, they, they weren't all that great. Uh, they weren't very powerful. The stuff nowadays is, is you know, on par with, with really anything else out there. So it's, it's a great experience and I'm, I'm very happy to be here. 
checking out all the new bikes and uh, we have a great, great, great uh, future at Imperium. And, and, and we do have uh, actually bikes on the water. Um, they're, they're on their way over um, as, as we speak. And I know someone just mentioned, asked if they can still register for the e-bike and the answer is yes, uh, by all means. Um, and Rick, just want to just touch on the charging um, for a moment as well. Um, and, and or RJ, um, the time it takes to charge and the distance it goes. Well, there it is right there. It's um, the Rover, that's the rumble. Um, and it um, goes up to like 75, 60 miles, 104 kilometers for the Canadians um, range. But, um, and they're right now retailing for 2450. So can you just explain that for a second, RJ? Uh, yeah, the speed and the top speed and the range. Yes. Yeah, and, and the yeah, range yeah. and charging time, please. <laughs> On the rover and the rumble there. Yes. So the charging time charging time can be between four to five hours, uh, depending what kind of uh, house and outlet we're using. But between four to five, it's very standard. And the top speed we have it at thirty miles per hour uh, because of regulations, basically. And the battery size we use for the rover bikes, for example, it's a um, 15 amp battery. And that's a little bit higher than a standard. A standard usually has a 10 amp battery. So you get a little bit less range. So we're putting a little bit bigger battery pack inside of the rover bike to get that extra miles on the bike uh, that customer, that's again what customer wants. So we added that without really increasing the price of the bike. So because the customers we still get it for a really good price and better range basically compared to the competition. How much is it? Uh, the range can be depending on the top speed and everything, but it could be around 60 miles uh, range uh, at a little bit higher uh, top speed, uh, uh, higher uh, medium uh, speed, around 60 miles, I would say. Perfect. Yes, and the air bike has actually a even bigger battery pack. Uh, we have a little bit stronger motor on that one. It's a thousand watt motor. It's a direct hub motor. So, and the battery we're using is a 24 amp battery. And that's again, because the, the air bike is a little bit built for off-roading and uh, longer distance. So you can get a good 75 mile range on that one. And you will still keep keeping the 30 miles per hour top speed again, because of uh, regulations but we, we extend the range on the air bike. So it costs more, uh, of course it costs more to produce the air bike, it's a different type of bike, uh, a little bit niche, I would say, but uh, it's a great bike, we sell a lot of it, people love the design and because you can do really off-roading and on-roading and you have uh, all the things you need, blinkers, um, lights and everything, so you can use a street, a street bike as well. Yeah, and Bob on these bikes, uh, they all plug in to a normal 110, 115 volt, uh, you know, normal house plug-in. You don't have to have anything special. They come with a with a charger. Uh, all of them do, included in the price. So they're they're very very easy to keep. They're easy for maintenance. There's practically no maintenance on them. You know, if you wear the tires out after putting, you know, a lot of miles on them, you got to do those. But for the most part, it's it's brakes, tires, and not much else. Fantastic. And, and they are available um, and readily available and they're in production. There's more coming. Um, you stay on our website and, 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 and watch for the new bikes that are going to be coming. Um, and um, a, a, the um, uh, hello, a question was just asked uh, in reference to the production. So, so the, on the production side, Rick, um, are we able to keep this a continuous supply in, in, in Canada and United States? Um, and then outside of Canada, there was a question in reference to the, the UK, et cetera. Also, they are available there and we can ship anywhere in the world. So um, just stay in touch, fill out the forms. If you have um, anything, there are going to be at retail stores. And we're, we're looking to be able to sign up numerous dealers throughout North America. So please reach out to us um, because this thing's rocking. And, and uh, um, so we're quite excited about it. And it just, it really fits into our our EV market, the car business that we're in, the low speed, high speed, um, and um, uh, onward from, from there into the golf industry. So uh, once again, Rick, you want to add anything to that before we go yeah. off? Yeah, I saw a question that just came up. Are these bikes available in Africa? They're really available worldwide. There's, there's no restrictions on them. 
So we would be happy to have those bikes sold in any market. And, uh, you know, they're really selling it about as fast as they arrive. So we, we don't know where the, the top end is of this. I mean, we're ordering more and more and more, and it's just, uh, it, it's a great business. Anyways, thank you very kindly, Rick, Hen uh, Kevin, RJ, um, John, Tanya, Cicero, uh, and everyone. Uh, we want to thank you for your yep. time. <clears throat> Feel free to reach out to us at any given time. John, back to you if you want to say a few words. Yeah, absolutely. We have uh, one last item of business and uh, great job, everyone. So in closing, uh, we actually do have a winner uh, drawn on the Rover e-bike, and I'm going to put that on the screen here in a minute. And we'll let it uh, sit there for everyone to see if you uh, bear with me one second. It can't be you, John. I want you to know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can everybody see this? Hey, fantastic. Paul Beeman oh. from DC. So Welcome. He's jumping up and down right now. <laughs> so Paul, we will uh, send you an email. Uh, we have all of your information. We'll send you an email um so that um you can get all the information and uh, also lastly want to thank everyone for coming um again this webinar was designed to give everyone a taste of the cool e-bikes available at, at imperium motor company please visit the website at imperiummotorcompany.com to see the entire lineup of evs from imperium and lastly we will be sending everyone a link to either purchase an e-bike or a link to inquire about resale opportunities as a dealer so thank you again. Enjoy your day. I uh, appreciate you coming. Take care. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.